before we get into today's video, we want to thank you for watching Peak Curiosity. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for all your new uploads and to support the work we're doing on the channel to provide you with the entertainment for trillions of light years to come. When you find the person you want to spend the rest of your life with, it can feel like you've known them your entire life. But British couple Heidi Parker and Ed Savitt had no idea there was something they didn't know about one another. And then, Parker's mother found a startling photo that shattered everything she thought she knew about her fiancé. Heidi Parker had graduated high school and was ready to start a new chapter in her life. But she didn't want to do it at home. So, she started applying to different colleges and eventually found the one that would mean she'd have to say goodbye to her parents. Heidi Parker knew that moving away from home would be a major life change, but she had no idea what she was in for when she decided to attend the University of Newcastle in 2011. And it wasn't a college professor or her major that ended up changing the course of her life forever. Living 130 miles away from her parents was certainly new, and she was loving her newfound freedom. But not everything was going as smoothly as she wanted it to. In fact, she was pretty close to ending up on the street. Living in a dorm wasn't a requirement at the university, so Parker planned on sharing an apartment with a couple of friends. But things didn't work out, so she decided it was time for a change. This put her on a path to meeting a very special someone who would soon rock her entire world. It was a new school year and a whole new direction in her life, so she decided to push her luck and live alone. But she didn't want to live somewhere that was too far away from college, so she went apartment hunting, not realizing someone was looking for her. She eventually found a studio apartment close to campus and was elated to start her new life. Then, she was contacted by a random stranger, and this person would soon become a very important figure in her life. Although Parker had settled into her new apartment, the tenant who had moved into her old digs was having some problems with the place. In fact, things got so bad that he started scouring the internet to hunt her down. Parker had received a Facebook message from a guy named Ed Savitt, who said that he was a tenant in Parker's former apartment and he needed help from her. Naturally, she wanted to lend a hand, but she had the feeling he wasn't being too sincere. Although she had her doubts, she agreed to go to Savitt's house. She had seen his profile photo on Facebook and thought he was really good looking. So in spite of her better judgment, she decided to pay him a visit. Savitt told her he didn't know how to use a communal dryer, but she didn't buy his story. To her, it kind of seemed like a cheesy pickup line. And yet there was something about him that felt very familiar to her. She just couldn't figure out what it was. Parker showed Savitt how to work the machine and even stayed to make sure he was able to finish the process. But as she started to leave, he stopped her in her tracks. She was so scared, but then he said something that put her mind at ease. Savitt was able to man up and ask her out on a date to a nearby cafe. She figured it'd be okay. At the very least, she'd be getting some free coffee out of it. So she said yes, but hadn't foreseen that life as she knew it was about to change forever. On their date, Parker discovered that Savitt was going to Newcastle University to study business and psychology. He also had a dream of opening up a shop someday. It seemed like he had brains and good looks too, so pretty soon, they started hitting it off. Despite her skepticism, the two connected and soon enough, they started dating and going to college costume parties together. During that time, they shared everything from victories to failures and even secrets. But there was one fact about the couple that was waiting to be discovered, and it was about to blow everyone's minds. Eventually, their college lives came to an end, and the couple had to figure out their next move. They decided to move to London, but didn't move in together right away. Parker landed a major PR job opportunity, while Savitt finally opened up a coffee shop on the south side of town. But then, things got really serious between them. After a while, Parker and Savitt moved in together, and they were quite sure that they wanted to share their lives together. 
but this decision would lead to a life-altering revelation that would make them question everything they believed to be true about their first encounter. From the moment Parker and Savitt started dating, every fiber of their being told them that they were made for each other. But there was a long family secret that they knew nothing of, and it was about to come to the surface. There was a spark whenever they looked in each other's eyes. It was as if they'd known each other their whole lives. In a way, they kind of felt like they had met in another life, and they weren't entirely off base. When Parker and Savitt finally got engaged, they decided to have a pre-wedding family dinner. But it was two particular family members that would end up revealing something about Savitt, and it was a truth that even he didn't know about himself. At this point, Parker and Savitt had been dating for years and they got along great. So naturally, they assumed that getting their mothers to meet was the right thing to do. But they were a little nervous. So they tried accounting for every contingency, except for one. They picked their mother's favorite restaurant and made all the reservations. So there was nothing that could go wrong. They were sure of it, or so they thought. But when the moms started talking, a family secret came dangerously close to surfacing. Would it completely ruin their seemingly perfect relationship? The truth about the couple's past came to light when their mothers, Fiona Savitt and Kay Parker, started chatting. The woman began trading stories about their children. But then, Parker's mother said something about her own daughter that made Savitt's mother reminisce about a similar event in her son's life. Parker and Savitt were glad that their mothers were getting along so well, but they had no choice but to interrupt them to give them some exciting news. They were engaged. But oddly enough, this was not the most shocking news the mothers were about to get. Parker's mother told Savitt's mother how the entire family had gone to Turkey on vacation when she was a child. They sailed boats, which her daughter loved doing. And on that trip, she remembers her then six-year-old daughter had met a boy that had swept her off her feet. Her daughter and the boy held hands and spent lots of time together. But after the dinner was over, Parker's mother sensed there was something not quite right about her daughter's fiancé. The two mothers were delighted that their children had invited them to dinner. But the get-together had left Parker's mother troubled. She knew that the secret to a happy marriage involved total honesty, but she feared that there was something about her daughter and her fiancé that had been kept from them all these years. Parker's mother assumed that she would need some extra space to put all the wedding supplies and presents. So, she started clearing up space in the basement. But in the process, she stumbled onto something that brought her back to the story Savitt's mother had told her. Something about the story made Parker's mother uneasy. She tried putting it out of her head, but a few weeks later, she discovered a box full of photographs in the basement from that Turkish sailing trip from a long time ago, and it revealed something about Savit that shook her to the very core. Parker's mother found a photograph of her daughter with the boy she met in 1997 on their trip to Turkey. There was something about the boy's bowl-cut hair and smoldering gaze, and that's when it hit her. She suddenly realized who the boy was but she didn't put the clues together all on her own. As luck would have it, the Parkers and the Savits had both gone on vacation to Turkey in the summer of 1997, and both families ended up in the Turkish city of Gumbet. Once Parker's mother figured out the identity of the boy, she contacted Savits' mother to see if she knew who he was, and the reaction was staggering. If anyone could have identified the smiling boys in the photographs, it would certainly be the boy's mother. And Parker's mother had a nagging suspicion that she knew who that was. It was just a matter of asking Savitt's mother and seeing if she was right. Once Parker discovered more photos of her daughter and the mystery boy, she shared them with Savitt's mother, who shrieked when she realized the little boy was none other than her own son. The women couldn't contain their excitement and it would soon reach Parker's daughter. Once Parker's mother reached out to her with the adorable news, Savitt's mother decided to look through her family albums of the trip. That's when she discovered several other photos of her son's first girlfriend. She just hoped that her son and future daughter-in-law would be just as excited as they were. 
Of course, the mothers had to share the news with their children. So, Parker's mother sent her daughter the photo of the little boy through text and then called her. When Parker looked at the photo, she was so stunned, and yet she couldn't believe it. Once the couple learned that they had met 18 years earlier on a family vacation, they knew they were destined to live happily ever after. So, in 2017, they officially sealed the deal. But they couldn't help but wonder how they hadn't realized they'd met before. After dating for years, one would assume their childhood trip to Turkey would have come up in a conversation. But they could have lived a lifetime and never known about their early connection. So, it seems fate had always intended for them to know the truth. Their mother's glorious discovery made their wedding day even more magical than the bride or groom could ever have imagined. They even picked the perfect venue to get hitched at that had something very special in common with the couple. The couple said their I do's at a 12th century manor house called Haddon Hall. It only made sense that they married in a place with so much history, since they too had a lot of history of their own but their chance encounter did more than unite these two lovebirds. Parker and Savitt had no idea at the time that their chance encounter as children would one day end up uniting their two families in love and friendship. And now, the in-laws have even gone on regular vacations to Turkey together while their kids enjoy their own lives as newlyweds. Parker and Savitt had their moment to celebrate their love and now they're happily living and loving life together. In 2019, they attended their friends' Easter wedding, and they looked fabulous with his tie matching the color of her outfit. They also share similar interests. Although it's not clear who's a bigger soccer enthusiast, the couple looks like the embodiment of love in this cute snap. And while there was a game playing down below, these two couldn't keep their eyes off of each other any more than they could during their wedding. On August 26, 2019, Parker posted a photo of her wedding kiss to commemorate their two-year anniversary. She also added a funny caption that read, I've not had many husbands, but I reckon you're as good as they get. And they're continuing a tradition that started it all. A family trip was what made them meet in the first place, so it makes perfect sense that they would continue the tradition of traveling together to exotic places like Teatro Romano Cartagena, Spain. And even though Parker is seriously amazing, she's not exactly great at buying Savit presents. On December 27, 2019, Parker posted a photo of her husband wearing the skier shirt she bought for him from eBay for Christmas. She claimed it was kind of a joke gift and that he hated it, but she thinks it's perfect just like he is. <laughs> 